Yeah, I, I don't want no one to go on tonight and have cheap on fire. <laughs> you know, this song, perhaps I should do this song, but this is for you guys here. Yeah. Hey, thank you. <laughs> so, so this is about general safety tips, I guess. So we'll get, like, we'll get the general safety thing out of the way and then let's have it for cunt. Can we have it for cunt before the even comes on? Yeah. Yes, and it's good that Andrew McGee could come and go for ages. And the first time I ever seen him, I was in Sheffield, I was just like... I used to worry about my songs and think, oh... <laughs> songs are too far, too rude, and I seen this gig and I was like, fuck you know, I'm like Terry Wogan! <laughs> like, I might as well just get a cardigan, I'm like, fucking, who was that guy with a cardigan? Val Doonican. That's how I eat, and he's the same gig as him, I'm like, Val for me, he's like, I can say what I want. It won't even touch the sides. <laughs> so anyway, this one's about chip on fire, so here we go. <laughs> Safety is important, safety is important, safety is important, safety is important. 99% of accidents in your home happen in the kitchen, which is why you always find in the front room, find in the front room, wearing a helmet, being very careful, being very careful. 99% of road accidents are the fault of cars, taxis, buses, motorbikes, pedestrians, which is why you'll always find me on the pavement, being very careful, being very careful, wearing a helmet, not attracting attention. I came home once, I was way too pissed, I decided I was going to cook some chips. I got the chips pan straight onto the cooker, turned it up for blast, turned it up for blast. Then I didn't even know if I had any potatoes. <laughs> so I filled the pipe, rolled the joint, put a CD on, stiff little fingers it was Hanks. I was listening to the first track and I thought, shit, yeah, we'll make some chips. <laughs> so I started looking for the potatoes. I looked in all the cupboards and I found loads of stuff like foil, scales, blackened knives, <laughs> dust, mount shit. But eventually in the last cupboard I found some potatoes, they were kind of growing, they are kind of things growing out of them. But I wasn't fussy, I just chopped them bits off and I cut the peel off the potatoes. But they didn't just chop them into chips. That would have been too easy. I intricately carved them, intricately carved them into the shape of the heads on Easter Island. <laughs> I thought they'd just be good when they were cooked. I thought they'd look ace when they're all crispy. Then I went back to the chip pan. I'd left it for ages. I'd pretty much forgotten about the chip pan. I lifted the lid to put the potatoes in. He stuck to me fingers, he stuck to me fingers! Then the fire started, then the fire started, then the fire started, then the fire started. The flames were going up to the ceiling, which was revealing my inadequacy as a cook of lead, my potato smacks. And my face was on fire, my hands were on fire, it wasn't very good. But I thought it's alright, I know what to do. I've seen the adverts in the 70s and I don't know what to do. I just need to get a tea towel, soak it with water, throw it on the chip pan, everything will be fine. But you know when you get a wet tea towel, soaked in water and you throw it at a chip pan, it doesn't land over the top of the fire flat, putting it out. It makes the fire bigger, it makes the fire bigger, it makes the fucking fire spread out. And then the flames are on your curtains, and then the future's quite uncertain. I thought, oh no, I've been lied to by the TV. I'm not going to survive tonight, I'm never going to have any chips. Then I run down the corridor to the bathroom. Got a bath towel and soaked it up with water Run back to the chip pan, threw myself on top of it all I thought I'm gonna kill all my mates, I'm a total cunt 
then the fire went out. But I must have passed out, cause I never heard the firemen, never heard the firemen when they chopped me door down, chopped me door down. They gave me oxygen and I was very grateful, I was very grateful. When I come round they said, son, how did this fire start? And then they looked round the kitchen and they saw the potatoes in the shape of the heads on Easter Island. <laughs> And the blackened butter knives, <laughs> and the slightly smouldering curtains, <laughs> and the fireman said, "Safety is important. Safety 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 is important." Thank you. <laughs>